What's going on? And today I'm going to show you how to customize your Mixamo rig in Lightwave and using Photoshop too. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use GIMP or some other software that's available. GIMP is free, although I think it has a little bit of a learning curve on it. The idea behind this is that the Mixamo rigs are pretty cool, but they're generic and you want to be able to customize them. So that's the direction I'm going. But because I'm lazy, I don't want to do a lot of modeling. So I'm just going to try to resurface the Mixamo rig to look as I want it to look. So that's that's what I'm doing behind all this. So to get started, we're just on layout, in out, and we go to the interchange. And I'm just loading in an animated rig right here because that's the whole point of it is for the me to be able to surface the rig without interfering with anything else, the rigging or anything else. So here we go. And we click that and there is our Mixamo rig. And if I hit play, you'll see that it comes with the animation and all ready to go. The first step in doing this whole thing is I'm going to leave it on T pose. The first thing you got to do is you got to save the scene. So we're going to go save scene as and we're just going to call this test two and go save. And then what we'll do is we're going to go save all objects. Yes. And then we're going to go to object and then we got to go to the surface alpha surface. And then what we'll do is we're going to switch over to modeler. Now, when it comes into modeler, everything's already rigged up. It's the whole surface of the hit A there. So you can see, which is cool. Now you could just play around with it in here, but this isn't really a surfacing program. Although you could assign different surfaces to this. I'm just interested in the head for today. So I'm just going to make sure I'm on polygons and I'm going to click on the head and then I'm going to hit the right bracket to select all. Then I'm going to go Control X. I'm going to jump to the second layer by clicking on the top and I'm going to hit Control V and there's the head. And if I hit A, we can see I've got the whole head right there, which is fantastic. Now, the one thing I don't like about this rig is it doesn't have any eyes. So I was thinking, well, I'll start with just giving it some eyes, even if they're not the greatest looking eyes. At least I'll have something there rather than, <laughs> you know, robot with no eyes. So I thought I'd make it a little bit more human to put eyes on. And then eventually maybe I'll give it some kind of mouth and then put a light in there to go along when it's supposed to be talking or something like that, rather than animating uh, the mouth movements and stuff like that. We're going to go to edge and we're going to click right about where the eyes will probably be. So I would say hold down shift. And so I'm going to say right there. So this will be my reference point is where I'll, cause I'm gonna put the eyes right about there. So right where this, and then what I'll do is I'll come here to select and select loop. And now I'm gonna come back and deselect these two spots, right? And then we're gonna go to UV map and we're on it and we're gonna go A, B, F, uh, UV unwrap. And there it is unwrapped for us. Now I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to deselect that. And what I'm gonna do is come over to in out and we're going to export this EPS. And on here, we're just going to select texture UV. We're going to turn off draw grid, and then we're going to export this to wherever we want it exported. I'm just going to put it on the desktop for right now. I can give it its own name. I'll just call it face. I don't know. Two. How about that? And we'll go save and then go. Okay. Once that's done, I'm going to jump over into Photoshop here and then I'm just going to go ahead and open that file that I had the face to right here and go open. And then we're going to set this to 300 and we're just going to set this to RGB and then we'll go. Okay. And there is our, our UV map to keep this simple. I mean, I realize you can put anything you want in here, but right where is, here's where they're joined. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw in a couple eyes. So I'm going to hit control and the plus to zoom in a little bit. Then I'll hit the space bar and that little hand and just kind of reposition myself here. I want the eyes to be sym symmetrical. So I know that they're going to be like right about there. So I'm just click on this and grab the ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to click and drag and kind of make it an eye shape like that. And then I'll just give it some fill. It can be any color, something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit T come up here and click on that and then click T and then I'm just going to reposition this. Now what I'm going to try to do here is just line this up. It might not be perfect, but I'll hit control T and I'm just going to, oops, I don't want this. I'm going to try to line up as best I can. You hit shift on these corners, it'll constrain it. So what I want to do is just kind of get this lined up with those lines so that I, I know that where I'm at. Okay. So I'm kind of touching there and there and I'm three in. Okay. So then I'll hit enter to save that. And then I'll just come over here to the layer, right click duplicate layer. Yes. 
and then I'm just going to use my arrow keys. I use the arrow keys a lot. It's kind of slow, but uh, I come up here and it just allows me to really precisely position things. So it's three in and I'm just trying to line it up symmetrical to the other one. So the eyes aren't all wonky and weird. And I would say right about there is good enough. And then I'm going to hit enter. And what we'll do then is we're just going to save this out as save as. And let's see, we'll go to, we can save it as a JPEG. And we will go to call this eyes. I'm just going to call this eyes 10 and go save. Okay. And oops, I did forgot something. Cancel that for a second. Oh, you got to turn off this grid. Otherwise you'll see it. So you got to hide that. Forgot about that. So you go save and then save as. And here we go. We're going to save this as JPEG. And we'll call this eyes. Like I said, eyes 10 like that. And we'll go save. We're about halfway done, believe it or not. Okay, so now I can jump back into Modeler. So we're back in Modeler and we're in the second layer. And I like to be on Polygon because I can get really confused for some reason like that. And what we can do now is go to the Surface Editor. And what we can do is, oops, I did kind of hit on myself. I need to hit Q. And we're just going to name this head one and then it's got a surface now i should mention that this uv wrapper here is under the name unwrap you can change the name of that but just by default it's going to be unwrapped that might uh, be important in a little bit here so now that we got that surface set i can come into the surface editor and if i click on i'm on head one i click here and now i'll just double click here and bring in image and we're going to double click here and i'm just going to bring in that load that image that i had the eyes 10 right there and there it is and we'll go ahead and set the mapping to uv map and we'll go to the unwrap which is a uv map for that and hopefully when i connect color to color you'll see the eyes on there yeah and so you could do this you know you imagine that you're surfacing in eyes you can there's unlimited possibilities you know i, I imagine just putting like uh, logos on here or something like um, you know i'm just here for the beer or something or you know whatever you want but at least you kind of get the idea of how you could put eyes on here now while we're here what i'm going to do because i'm on the second layer i'm going to go to control make sure i'm on polygons and control a and control c and then we're going to come here and control v and then i'm going to come back here I actually could just have cut that but and delete that and so go back on the first layer and there's our whole rig now if i come over here and go save all objects then i come and go synchronize to layout then i go switch to layout if i come in here now you'll see that i've got my eyes on this on my robot looking at the surface i can see that i need to smooth the head out here there we go. And that's it. Now, the cool thing is if I hit play, everything's all connected. So the, the possibilities of this is that it allows you to using this technique, you can go in and customize the surface of your Mixmo rig and really give it some life and individuality, which I'm sure is what you want. And then you could also do the same. You can do the same for the body and the, the joints here as well. So anyway, this was just a kind of a quick and easy way of showing you how you can customize your rig using Photoshop and Lightwave, Lightwave 2019 that is. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care and I'll talk to you later.